Black holes at lowest order are exactly what you think. Stuff goes in and it doesn't come out. And that's as good a definition of a black hole as any. And many of the questions about how exactly they grow, how do they accrete stuff, how does that stuff shine, all critically depend upon uncertain physics near the horizon. And right now we just extrapolate. And for the first time, we're gonna be able to check. For the first time, we're gonna be able to validate or even more exciting, maybe invalidate some of these ideas about how black holes operate in practice. And that's gonna happen because we have this brand new resource, the Event Horizon Telescope. It's a broad international collaboration to build a global array of telescopes that has the capability to, for the first time in, in the history of astronomy, resolve the horizon of a black hole. Make a picture in which the horizon shows up as a shadow on all of the surrounding luminous material. And to do this, this necessarily has to be the highest resolution instrument in the history of astronomy. Next year, we'll start getting sufficient data to produce images. And when we do, and we release it, I expect that image to run above the fold on the front page of the New York Times. Because the EHT is developing so rapidly, we need to have large numbers of people working in concert in an organized fashion, being prepared to understand what it gives us. So Perimeter already has a strong focus on black hole physics. And I think is one of the best places for black hole physics in the world today. And that means it's a fantastic place to perform EHT analysis. And so we have this opportunity now to play a significant role, a substantial role in the Event Horizon Telescope project. We're not gonna build another dish. We're not gonna build a station somewhere. That's not what a theoretical physics institute does. But what we can do is we can take that data and we can turn it into science. And so at this juncture, given the fact that we expect to have transformative data in the next year or two, we absolutely need to be talking about bringing in people who have already obtained a degree, people who already have a strong skill set, and assume positions of leadership in the collaboration. And this is an opportunity for Canada to become heavily involved, in an opportunity to do it at a reasonable cost. Canada can do it by funding the analysis effort and essentially being the eyepiece for the Event Horizon Telescope, turning the raw data into science.